Hi, I'm Sam Thurgood and welcome to my two minute Pasha. In this week's Sidra of Kiti Sa, we have the bewildering incident of the golden calf, the nation who just 40 days before had heard the voice of Hashem speaking to them from Mount Sinai, now create and bow down to an idol. How could such a thing come to pass? There are, of course, many different factors over here, but the one that I want to focus on is raised by Rabbi Hanan Parat, where he points out the word used to describe the providing the jewelry for the Egel Hazahav. It says, Vayit paruku kolaam et nizmei hazahav asher boaznehem. The entire nation divested themselves of the golden earrings that were in their ears. And the question he asks is that why out of all of the pieces of jewelry that they had, the one requested by Aaron and provided by the people was the earring. He quotes the Zohar where it says that the ear, as we know, is a symbol for listening to Hashem, for accepting a master upon oneself. Of course, we find later on in the Torah with the Jew who chooses to be a slave to another human being that he is nailed in the ear to say this ear which accepted the uh, authority of Hashem at Mount Sinai is now accepting the authority of another human being. The idea of the ear is the one who accepts the authority. And the Jewish people at Mount Sinai, what they did was they took those earrings out of their ears. But it wasn't just Vayifraku, they removed them. Vayitparku, they removed themselves. They took themselves away from that experience of submitting to the authority of Hashem. The way Rabbi Porat describes it is that somebody wants to do something that they really feel like doing and they have that little voice in their head that says, don't do this, you know that this is wrong. It was from that that they divested themselves. It wasn't really their golden earrings that they took off. It was everything that that stood for. That golden experience of standing on Mount Sinai and having a moral clarity and knowing what you should do it was that that they removed from themselves, that little voice, that so, still quiet voice in their mind that told them that what they were doing was wrong. It was that that they removed and that that enabled them to go on and worship the golden calf. And my friends, it is that voice that we must be listening to. It is that one to which we need to give ear. And when we do that, our ears will truly be adorned with goodness, morality, and holiness. Shabbat Shalom.